Hey YouTube, John Quattro here. Yeah, I kind of stole that from Vsauce, but I love them, so that should be okay. Listen, today's video is going to be about something really important. Between Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, not because they died, uh, there's roughly 12 million active streamers right now. That's what today's video is going to be about. How to get you to stand out from that giant crowd. And we're going to start by upgrading your stream layout. I'm going to show you some free resources, some paid resources, and this is kind of going to sound like it's sponsored by Nerd or Die, but I promise it isn't. I just really like their website. Anyways, it's time for a new intro. Hey, before we get started, I just want to remind you guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the little like, and hit the little bell for notifications for my next videos. I got a video coming up next week on my favorite OBS plugins that I personally use. I think you're really going to enjoy that, so you don't want to miss it. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Sundays are more of like my creation days. That's where I'm going to work on things for my stream and for my YouTube videos. But I like to actually just set it up as a just chatting section. So if you have a lot of questions, uh, Sundays are the best days to come and talk to me. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm usually playing dopey games. Not that well. If you do want to hang out, you can click the link in the description uh, or it's available right here for you. It's uh, twitch.tv slash John Quattro. Again, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays. I hope to see you there. All right. Now into the rest of the video. All right, so here I'm at streamlabs.com. Uh, this was their Streamlabs quarterly report. Uh, you can see it's from April to, the, to June of 2020. So right in the middle of uh, some of the, the strictest lockdown periods that we've seen during this, uh, this time here. All right, here's the big news. Total hours watched. Twitch, 5,066.5 million. So if you want to do the math, that's 5 billion hours. YouTube gaming had a billion and a half hours. Facebook coming up at 8.22 million hours. Uh, Mixer had 106, you know, and they got shut down in July too. So if you needed to see the writing on the wall, here it was. Total hours streamed, you know, go ahead and take a look. Almost 200 million versus uh, YouTube gaming, which was 17, which that's kind of crazy to me. Twitch has like three and a half times the hours watched as YouTube gaming live, but way more time streamed. So that's pretty crazy. I think a lot of that's probably because video on demand is easier on YouTube. And then here's your unique channels. Almost 10 million streamers on Twitch streamed in quarter two of this year uh, versus 1 million in uh, YouTube, 200,000 in Facebook, and Mixer had 5 million streamers. So just keep a, keep an eye out on that. 5 million streamers streamed 36 million hours. That's only like seven hours per. So, you know, whatever. Uh, and then you can see your hours watched as well. This is just a bunch of stuff, you know, hey, what's the top publishers, blah, 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 blah. So look, reason I'm showing you all that is I want to show you nerdordie.com. Like I said, this isn't a, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to show you where I got this stuff from. So we're going to be working with the Synthwave stream package. I thought that one was cool and it had some resources I might use down the road anyway, so I did purchase it. But if you come up here to the resources section, all free resources. God, this feels like an ad for Nerd or Die. I promise this is not an ad for Nerd or Die. I promise. Uh, but this is just a, this is the only place I know that you can go to get stuff for free. All right, so what's free here? You want some overlays? If we click overlays, um, they have free options for stuff, but now we want to go to resources. They've got an overlay maker. If you do free overlays, you can launch this app. You can make your own overlay. Social media pop up. I've got that. I'm actually going to I'm actually going to use that. I think that looks pretty cool. Right? It's a little program. So this little guy right here popping in and out. Let me get out of the way. A scene maker. So you can make custom scenes. Uh, background type. You know, you can just put an image in. All sorts of little things just to like help you make a scene. So this is something you can do for free. Whoa, we've got OBS and OBS. Neat. All right, so check this out, guys. Um, like I said, Synthwave, I bought the package. If you do buy a package from somewhere, you're going to have something that looks, you know, probably like this. Uh, you just go up up top here, upper left-hand corner uh, to tool or scene collection, import, and then just import all the stuff from uh, wherever you saved it on your computer once you downloaded or created, whatever way it is. All right, so this has like your typical starting soon screen. Uh, just chatting screen, an in-game screen, a beer right back, and an end screen, I think. Uh, those are kind of what you need. Really, you only need a just chatting, an in-game, and maybe a beer right back screen. Some people like the just starting 
Some people don't. I don't think it really matters. Uh, I use uh, my own little guy. I'll actually show you here. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a go. I use this as a starting screen. Okay. Normally this background has my camera and it's all blurry. Looks pretty cool like this. That's normally what my starting soon screen looks like. You're not going to see that because I can't use the camera in two different places. Oh, well. All right. Let's go back here to our synth. All right. But look, as you can see here, this is like a just starting or a stream starting soon, whatever. And you've got my social media down in the bottom. So I want to show you how I did that. Um, we'll zoom in over to this section here so you can see my mouse where I'm at. But if you're looking, there's a, was a little social media guy right here. We opened him up and it's got social one YouTube, right? So I just double click on social and this will be the same for a lot of things that you're doing or you need to add a text source uh, either or. Um, but for this, it just said YouTube link. I just went in. I typed John Quattro gaming. That's my YouTube handle. Hit OK. It changed. I did the same thing here for all these different social medias. Um, if you're building your own you're going to need to add in a text file by hitting the plus and then text right here. Um, and then, you know, use whatever text you want, use whatever overlay you want. Um, that's going to be the um, starting stream. <laughs> the stream starting screen um, are just chatting. So this is what I was actually hoping would work. So I'm actually using uh, my little, my old Brio uh, up top here. Hey, what's going on up there, Brio? To give you an idea of, of how like this thing works. So you hit the plus sign, hit video capture device, and then it'll have you select what capture device you want to use. So whatever you're using uh, as far as a video source, be it a webcam, a camera, a phone, whatever you're doing, uh, once you get here, I would just suggest to go to Google or forums or Twitter, wherever you get your information and find what the best settings for your device are, they are gonna change. Uh, it's gonna differ for everybody's stuff, so I can't troubleshoot that. For your live chat, depending on what you use, whether it's Stream Elements, Stream Labs, or um, I think that's really the only two that you could do, uh, you'll wanna put a browser source in here for whatever your chat is. There are other videos that'll show you how to use Stream Elements and Stream Labs. I actually might make one myself, but just put a browser source for your chat here. But this is all laid out. I changed these again just to match them down here. That's your just chatting screen. Uh, our scene ending, same thing. The stream is ending here. Got our socials all set up. Everything looks the same here. Uh, also, just to, like a little fun thing if you want, you can actually right click and go to filters. If you wanna change the color of this and go to color correction, right above me here, if you look at the hue shift, if you start playing with that, you can actually change the colors. So say that those are more your colors, green's more your color, light blue, dark blue. See, you see what I'm getting at here? Uh, your saturation, that looks crazy. If you want it to look a little more like old school, you can actually dull the colors down a little bit. I think that's neat. Or like black and white, if you wanted to do some black and white, but you can act, that's, that's just a way that you can see how to change the colors on any of these like pre-downloaded things. Like say something is like pink and blue and your colors are like green and orange or whatever. If you go into a uh, filter color correction and then just mess around with the hue, you can probably get pretty close to whatever your main colors are without having to worry about like crazy customization uh, or paying somebody for, for something crazy like that. All right, uh, let's go into our in-game right here. All right, so whenever you go to your in-game, you're going to see a blank screen with all different like resources and stuff. Uh, it's like, hey, which one do we want to use? So if you look down here, you can see there's four by three and 16 by nine as far as these are four by three ratio. That's like a square versus your 16 by nine, which is widescreen uh, for our webcam and for my camera and most cameras, you're going to use 16 by nine if you're using default. So here's a really simple thing. Go over here, click on the stuff you don't want. You can either delete or hide. Um, I'm going to delete because I'm never going to use a four by three camera. I'm never going to use that. Um, I think we're going to go with this guy right here. Sorry, there's a bunch of stuff because they have placeholders. All right. Uh, so we're going to use this as our webcam. So let's get rid of that webcam placeholder there. Um, these are like top and bottom bars. Like if you like that stuff, that's cool. They've got three and four. So this one shows your latest sub, your latest top donation and your latest cheer and uh, stream label 
that stuff will come out. You'll want to use uh, like stream elements or something like that to place where those are going to go. Uh, like where your alert boxes pop up, um, which like I said, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm trying, trying to not make this feel like it's a nerd or die thing. Uh, but on nerd or die, they have like a supercharged setup. So you can just import this stuff directly into Streamlabs or directly into stream elements and set up like where that'll actually pull the information from. Uh, but I don't like those. Uh, they're just not for me. They take up a lot of the screen real estate. Um, I try to look for something a little cleaner. So that's why I'm going to get rid of the four as well. So here, here's like our, our little, our little guy. All right. So if you look down here in the corner, we've got our webcam frame and our support stack. That's it. All right. Let's, let's get our, let's get our webcam in here. All right. So the first thing we're going to do just for the purpose of this video is I'm going to use display capture. A lot of people prefer game capture. I use display capture personally, because I have trouble with game capture on some of my games. Hit display capture. And then what I typically do is take this display capture, move it down to the very bottom. Uh, so it's underneath. So you're stacking things up here, right? So our display capture is on the very bottom and then we're going to put our webcam. So let's go over here, hit the plus sign, hit video capture device, add existing because we already have one. Here's the Brio. Let's move that down here. Let's try to fill this square up. All right. And let's put that underneath everything but the uh, display capture. Just take your time, line things up. You know, mess around with it. Uh, I spent hours working on my stuff. All right, but look, now you have your little little guy right there. All right, <laughs> see, you see me? Um, and I mean, that's that's really, that's gonna be the, the biggest thing. Uh, now your stream looks cool. I mean, you can move this wherever you want. Hey, just chatting, go on right there. Maybe you wanna move some of the other stuff around. Let's go to the, uh, the stream starting right here, you know, didn't mean to do that. Pro tip, lock the stuff that you don't want moved. Lock. Here, you want to make that go up a little bit more. You want to put that at like the top. Put that here in the middle. I mean, you can customize whatever you want in just the same way that I said before. You know, right click, go to filter. You can add all sorts of fun stuff in here, but the color correction and then just mess around, you know? Change the hue up a little bit. Bam, there we go. There's your, uh, your purple and blue. If you uh, like those colors the best. All right. Hopefully after this video, you guys have gotten a pretty decent understanding on how to do a basic setup for Twitch, how to get your uh, overlay set up to you uniquely, uh, how to customize things that you've purchased, uh, where to get some of these things. I didn't go to Fiverr on here. It's hard for me to recommend Fiverr because I've gotten great things from Fiverr, but I know people who have gotten ripped off Maybe not ripped off is the right word. I know people who have paid money and they didn't get what they were expecting. At that point in time, it's kind of just, you gotta wash your hands of it. So I would caution Fiverr, but it's definitely a great place, especially if you start to spend a little more money, but don't do that unless you have it, you know, just sitting around. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, again, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell for notifications on when I go live, and hit the little like, that really helps me out a lot. And uh, if you want to come hang out and talk about your setups, my setup, anything that's going on in your mind and streaming, YouTube content creation, uh, or even podcasting, because I do have a podcast as well. Uh, you can find that everywhere podcasts are available. It's just the included podcast. I'll put a link in the description for that as well. Me and my buddy, we just talk about sports and other dumb things. Anywho, uh, you can find me on Twitch. Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays, twitch.tv slash John Quattro. Link in the description. Uh, and, you know, right here, uh, right in front of my face. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.